So yeah, the kill mat's in. Oh, bed's on, gas tank's in, of course. I uh, picked that up for like a dollar. This little truck box. So I shot that with some black spray paint and threw that in there. Uh, I got a couple things coming. No radio and all that. So radio showed up and I threw that on top today. Um, I got some uh, oh indoor outdoor carpeting is what it is. And the rough plan is to uh, a little technical drawing here. I gotta cut this out. Now once that's cut out, I can figure out where it all fits in there. Cut it out big, of course, and then trim everything down. And then uh, once that's in place and I got everything kind of how I want it, I'm gonna use this industrial strength Velcro. And I got 30 feet of the stuff. And uh, I'm gonna try sticking it to the kill mat. If it doesn't stick, I got some super glue. I can super glue the Velcro to the super to the uh, kill mat and then the other side I'm going to glue the uh, carpet right to the uh, velcro so the rough plan rough plan like right here I don't have any uh, no more trim my trim's gone I'm gonna have a piece of uh, the, the uh, weather stripping but I mean I don't have any that's gone so I uh, yeah, I had to figure out a way to how to, to uh, make sure that carpeting when you're getting out is not going to get pulled up. So, yeah, Velcro, that's what I'm doing there. And I'm probably going to go four inches wide right here in this area where you're going to have the most of this going on. In and out, you're going to have that going on. So, I mean, that's a rough plan there. And, uh, yeah, and then it's going to, carpet's going to go up and be all easy. And the rough plan is if I... Once I, if it does get all nasty, I'm going to have a floor mat, of course. But if it, if the flooring gets all nasty, I'll be able to just take it to a car wash, shoot it down, or even hit it with a hose, and uh, make it look halfway pretty. And then just slap it right back in. And, of course, i got to take my boots off. But it's maybe six bolts to do that. So that'll come right out. And, yeah, simple as that as far as the carpet goes. And, uh... Once the carpet goes, this thing still has to get to a shop. So I started to play around with uh, making a uh, brackets for this little, for my minion here. And my minion's got two, uh, needs a tow bar, and I picked up a Harbor Freight, yada yada tow bar. So I got some quarter inch welded or bolted on there already. And I'm just going to do something like that, and then something like that. I gotta, of course, angle it and notch it. And the plan is to have it about uh, 19, 20 inches high. And uh, that should, most trucks are 18 to the ball, the actual ball, the top of the ball height is like 18 to 22 inches. At least mine anyway are like 18 to 22 inches. So I'm going to have oh, about three inches of rise, which is about right, you know, like right there. Be a nice little angle. A lot better than bowling it to there, which the angle would just be horrible. So I got to build that. and I'm building it so that it has four bolts. I got a grade eight, five eighths bolt and a, and a half an inch. Actually, I think it's three quarter. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's three quarters. Three quarters of an inch bolt and a uh, half an inch bolt. And one, two per side, of course. And, uh, uh, so that's more than enough for this little car. And then I'm gonna run a crossbar, of course. And then a crossbar up top, of course. And maybe a couple gussets, and it'll be stupid strong. But the main thing is, is I'll be able to pull the car with the truck up to the shop, throw the tow bar, and maybe the bracket, I don't know, but at least the tow bar in the back of the, the uh, Minion. And then take the Minion back to the house, and I'm all done. And I can come back a week later, and uh, it, like the bracket I can remove, it's four volts. I can remove that whenever the heck I feel like it. And uh, uh, drive the Minion around for a week. And then when that's all fixed, I can uh, I can pick up the truck and have the truck ready to drive and do a couple little yada yada things too. But that's roughly where I'm at right now. You know, kill mats in. Looks like crap. I do not care.
Uh, I'm not going for performance. I'm going for, or yeah, I'm not going for looks. <laughs> I'm going for functionality and it functions great. The only downside is, is I got this dang wire. And I'm gonna have a bump. Bump, maybe it'll get covered with a floor mat. I gotta measure this right here and figure out what kind of floor mats are gonna fit. I mean, it looks like I could fit some massive floor mats in here and catch everything. We'll see. <laughs> I didn't realize it was this big. It's like seriously like almost two feet where I can get a floor mat and two by like three floor mat. So uh, I want one of those catch all ones. But yeah, that's a rough plan. That's where I'm at. Simple as that with this little technical diagram. And uh, yeah, thank you.